So Rocky and I go around the world shooting uh, high def video and we always are looking for better ways to share that video, store that video, uh, collaborate around that video and all that fun stuff. And I bet most of you are going through the same thing. You have uh, digital cameras, you're taking a lot of pictures and you're trying to figure out how do you store all that stuff and share it. And Pogo Plug is one of the companies that caught my eye two years ago and I haven't seen them for a while. So we're going to see what they're up to and how they're solving this problem for us. Who are you? I'm Daniel Putterman. I'm the founder and CEO of Pogo Plug. Uh, I've been in the Valley ever since I can remember. I actually started in the Valley long before high school. I've been a serial entrepreneur ever since, and this just is a, a further uh, explosion and expansion of my passion around digital media and all things cloud. Very cool. So, um, who is Pogo Plug? Just for somebody who doesn't know what you guys do. Sure. What, what we are is we're a service. And the service is designed to take any hard disk that you buy off the shelf. So for example, here in my hand, I have a two terabyte Western digital drive that I bought on Amazon for a hundred bucks. And our service cloud enables this disk drive so that whether it's at home or at the office, it's actually connected to the internet so I can use it from anywhere. And we enable that service with a small appliance that we build and we sell called the Pogo Plug device. Yeah. And this, this is what, a $49 or $79 device? Yep, what? we're available at mass retail across the country. Um, this particular device retails for $79, for example, at Best Buy. And we have another model with a slightly different port configuration of what kinds of, uh, that, for example, this one has USB 3. We have one with USB 2 that retails for $49 at Walmart. And the basic service is always free. Can I daisy chain devices into this thing? Because that, that you know, it's one thing to have one drive, but Rocky and I have like 20 drives at home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys are, are dangerous around this uh, mass storage cloud stuff. We actually yep. have one Pogo Plug user who emailed me the other day. He said he had 16 terabytes online. So you can definitely daisy chain and you can use the larger format drives. Very cool. So you have your one or four or 10 drives hooked up to this. This hooks up to your... Uh, Ethernet port, your uh, Wi-Fi router, That's right? right. It hooks up directly to your router, which is really important that you mention it because that way you don't have to have your PC on. And that's exactly what's happening right now is PCs are leaving the home. And so if you think about it, we buy this hard drive. The primary reason that consumers around the country buy these hard drives in, in droves every week is for backup. They want a place to store all of their content. They want to know it's safe and sound at home. And there are three things that are changing right now. One is there's more than one PC in the house. Yep. So it's just attaching it to one PC is not good enough. The second thing is PCs are leaving the house. So probably like you, I have my laptop with me today. iPad. Right, iPad, there we go. Yeah, and then three, maybe that's the most important point, is we're going away from PCs to all these new mobile devices. Yep. And I can't take this hard drive and plug it into this mobile device. So we need to change the idea of a USB cable and turn it into this virtual cable that basically follows me wherever I am. Very cool. So if I have an iPad, iPhone, iPad, Android tablet, I got a new Android tablet last week at the Google I.O. conference. Excellent. I can just nice product. load your software onto that tablet and then I can see all my drives that I put on my hard drive. That's exactly program. right. And uh, we just introduced a new service, um, frankly, this week. So you're one of the first people I got to talk to about it. It's called Pogo Plug Family. And there's two ways to get Pogo Plug Family. You can either buy a Pogo Plug device and then upgrade to the family service for $20 a year. And Pogo Plug Family comes with the software necessary for up to five family members to be able to have private spaces on a disk drive and be able to back up access and share their content from anywhere on the internet. So on vacation, at home, wherever I am. When I'm at home, it's super fast. When I'm on vacation, I'm on internet speeds, but I'm getting all of my content back home. W an offer that we're just running right now, and I'm really excited about, is for new members to Pogo Plug, if you purchase the Pogo Plug family subscription for $20 a year, and the only commitment we're looking for is that first year of $20, we will ship you a piece of hardware for free, the appliance for free, mm -hmm. uh, because we really want people to get up and running with the service quickly and easily. No, they, and once you start using it, you don't unplug it. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's, maybe that's why they call it a Pogo Plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's certainly the idea. I mean, the idea is it's meant to feel like a natural yeah. extension. It's meant to feel like any other website or cloud storage in, uh, service that you would use, except it's your storage. You know where it is. Is, um, you know who else is using it yeah now a lot of people are collecting all this digital stuff you know they have digital cameras and and even with your iPhone now it's it's backing stuff up um, or it's putting it on on one of these drives because that's where you want to centralize it so that if, if your iPhone gets lost you still have all your photos right you, you hook right. up your iTunes to a hard drive the problem is what happens if my house burns down and all my stuff goes away 
So are, are you doing anything with backup, with cloud-based backup with this? Yeah, we are. I mean, it's interesting, right? So consumers have told us that they feel most comfortable using their own hard drive in their own home. It's, it's yeah. a very unnatural act for them to first put everything in the cloud. They'll put a few things in the cloud, but not everything. So yeah. deep storage, everything goes home. And then what we've now introduced is we've introduced a, a service called PogoPlug Cloud which is an optional service. We give you five gigabytes of our cloud for free, and then we let you upgrade to various tiers of cloud, all the way up to a terabyte. And uh, that, it's automatic, so you set up the service to say, take whatever you put on your Pogo Plug at home and get it up to the cloud, and now you know you have a fast, redundant copy off-site in case anything happens in your house. Well, you're seeing the problem already. Rocky and I both have terabytes, many terabytes of data on many, many hard drives. And if you're only giving us ability to upload uh, or back up a t one terabyte, I mean, that drives, what, a two terabyte drive, right? Yeah, so yeah. So I can only back up half that hard drive. Well, it's and interesting. That's the you know, I, drive, we yeah. haven't had requests for more than a terabyte yet, but with yeah. enough of them, we'll, we'll be happy to make that available. And, well, the, and I mean, even if you let me, uh, getting a terabyte up, up to you yeah. is really hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Copying a single terabyte drive over to another terabyte drive takes forever. I and, think that's, that's uploading right. Uploading it to the cloud is even worse. That's right? right, and I think that's why the adoption of pure online backup solutions have yeah. arguably been relatively slow yeah. because that value proposition, if you're syncing five gigabytes, it's one thing, but if you're talking about syncing two terabytes, it's a completely different, different problem set for the user in yeah. terms of waiting months for that to happen. So, you know, the way we present storage to, to you as the user is you have your Pogo Plug storage at home, you have the cloud storage, for example, that we give you. It's all in one nice UI, and you decide where and when things move around and go to different places, so you yeah. can selectively tear out your data. Now, this has uh, USB 2 and 3 on it? Right, this particular device has USB 2, USB 3s in the back, and then yeah. if you can get the top off, we have uh, SATA on top, so you can take any SATA drive and just drop it in here. My friends at Seagate's been selling us a lot of these SATA, the little Go Flex micro. drives, for example. Yeah. yeah, they'll just drop right in there, and then we give you a, a free extra USB 2 on top there. Just Got it. Are you thinking of doing Thunderbolt at all? Because all the Mac fans have Thunderbolt now. You know, so. I think for now, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, and so do I with my new Retina display. Um, I think for now we're going to stick with these just because they're, they're universally compatible. And one of the things that we have going on right now is this is a normalizing platform in the sense that if you're a family household like mine where you have a Windows PC and a Mac, this is a common place to store from both platforms. And right. so this is a nice, you know, pick a standard format that works with all of them and just get the drive in there and let it go. Uh, tell me what it would look like on a tablet or on an iPad or something like that. Walk us through the software, what a consumer would actually see. Absolutely, so we have native software for um, all, ma all major portable devices. So it includes uh, iPad, uh, uh, iPhone, Android, right? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, just take you into the Pogo Plug application. And so when I click on the Pogo Plug icon, it signs me in just like any other cloud service. So you're signing into the Pogo Plug service. It's now finding all of your storage, which includes my hard disks that I have online at home. By the way, safely behind my firewall. So if you look at early incarnations of networked uh, products in the home, they're always having you break down your firewall, which we think yeah. is a bad thing. So the cert by having a service in the, and our device in the home, we keep your security alive and well, but we make it completely transparent, 60 second setup. So what you can see though is in, if I go in now into, for example, settings, um, I actually have options around automatic upload. For example, I can tell you, yes, I want to upload photos and videos, but do I want to do it on Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi and 3G? Do I want to send up the originals on thumbnails, only the thumbnails? So it anticipates that you're in these roaming environments, mm -hmm. and it gives you options in terms of how you want the app to behave. Can I have a right? Pogo plug at work and at home? Absolutely. And That's, I can see that in the UI here. You can see all that in the UI, so what I can do now is I can actually go back into, for example, files, and you'll see my three Pogo Plug devices. So I have a MacBook Air, and that's something we can talk about in a moment. We have an optional piece of software that you can install on a PC that you leave on, which makes the PC behave just like Pogo Plug storage. So this is, by the way, a, a great way to back up that two terabyte drive. You can just copy that to another two terabyte drive and take it to work. And take, take it to, and take it to work, absolutely. And actually, once you have that initial backup set up, that, that's what I have in my environment, right? So I have a, a Pogo Plug at home, a Pogo Plug at the office, and I've told one Pogo Plug, the service, I've told to, to keep one Pogo Plug continuously mirrored to the other Pogo Plug. So that's now I have, I have all of my storage mirrored at this point. 
Very cool. Uh, I didn't again, even know it did that. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, this I'm, is all I'm trying to figure really out how yeah. to solve our problem because we have 10 terabytes of, of storage at, at home, and that's really dangerous because if my house burned down, all of our videos go away. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing we should do is we should get another 10 terabytes copied somewhere else. Yeah. And so at least you then have two copies and then selectively move some of that up to the cloud. And we'll probably do something special for you in terms of cloud pricing. So, okay. so um, but, but I think that you know, the power now, and this is really what's, what's changed. People ask us, you know, what, what's new at Pogo Plug since you launched? over the last couple of years that we one we do have next generation hardware we're more widely available at mass retail the price points are much lower so it's very affordable for, for everyone to get in um, as, a, as an everyday um, consumer who wants this solution but also under the hood we spent all last year writing next generation software we looked at all the backup solutions out there and we said this is too hard yeah. talking about rollback and incremental and I, I mean, what is an incremental copy and rollback copy of a photo? I just want to know that my photo is safe and sound. So trying to speak to people in that language and making the software that seamless and easy to use. Making backup software that when you leave the house, it actually keeps working as opposed to stopping working because you're out of the home. Yeah. So kind of paradigm for the future. No, it's really cool. And, and the, the two-place uh, uh, platform is really an interesting idea. I didn't even think of using pl Pogo Plug that way to keep two hard drives synced you know, one at work and one at home. And it actually reminds me that we should do some sort of a bundle because uh, the, the, the power of the product's there, but that, that particular capability, typically you find out after you're involved in it for a while. But I think you may be onto something, which is there's lots of people who just want a full redundant copy somewhere else. And maybe we could do that, which is make it real easy for people to get two boxes instead of one, for example. Very cool. Uh, you get it at retailers around the world or just in the United States? Uh, we're focused right now on all, all U.S., so that includes Walmart, Best Buy, Office Depot, Office Max, Radio Shack, and others coming online, and widely available in Japan, and then we'll be in Europe later this year. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for seeing and, me. And we learn more at pogoplug.com? Pogoplug.com. You got it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.